Hi guys, so I have another story for you today. Today I want to talk about Kim Zolciak Bierman and The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now if you saw the last episode, you'll know that Kim was supposed to go to Barcelona with the women on a vacation, even though half of the cast can't stand her, but she ended up opting out because she said she didn't want to go without her husband, Croy. Okay, and so the women are now saying that Kim has a very un- realistic relationship and unhealthy relationship with Croy. She drags him around everywhere she goes and is driving the other women crazy to the point that they're saying this is unhealthy. And personally, I thought, well, that is kind of unhealthy to bring your husband everywhere you go. Like you can't even go to work without him. This is crazy. So I better get to the bottom of it. Is what, what's the reason for this unhealthy obsession with Croy? And let me tell you guys, what I found out was so mind boggling that I feel like I need a therapy session right now. I feel like I'm the crazy one. So I'm going to warn you before I go into this in-depth detail of their relationship, you're going to feel crazy. And it made me so crazy tell at this point, I can't even pick a side. I'm just baffled by the whole thing. Okay, so we all know that Kim has a very unstable relationship with her parents. They've been estranged for six years. Now, can this make someone have a needy obsession with their husband? Absolutely. Is it unhealthy to cling to Croy so much? So I dug a little deeper into her relationship with her parents. This is absolutely unhealthy relationship she's got going on with her mother, well, her, both of her parents. At this point, it's, I don't know who's right and who's wrong. It's all, They're all wrong. Can we get out of the media people for arguing, going back and forth and showing the public just how dysfunctional you two really are? I mean, it's insane, but it doesn't stop there. It's just not Kim's parents that Kim has no nothing to do with. It's also Croy's family that want nothing to do with Kim and her family. So according to the rumors, Croy's family did not want Croy to marry Kim. She already had two children and they were like, these aren't your children. Why take on the headache? In so many words, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase here. Why take on the he headache? But it didn't stop there. After the wedding took place, their attitude towards Kim did not change. And as a matter of fact, it got worse. When she got pregnant so quickly, they became extremely judgmental and hated Kim even more down to the fact that it was just plain disrespectful according to the rumors. So Croy cut them off. Another set of grandparents cut off. Depending on your personality, how you look at this, some people said it's a betrayal to his parents that raised him this whole time and he's cutting them off for his wife. Or you could say he did the right thing because you can't disrespect the wife. This could make both of them extremely needy because now they have no one else but them and no extended family. This could make a person needy. I still think in my opinion that, okay, it will make you needy, but do you have to bring him everywhere you go? But then I finally came across a story to me that made a little bit more sense. According to the rumors, Kim started dating Croy when he was already in another relationship with another woman by the name of Elizabeth Swarren. Okay, according to Elizabeth, he totally had an affair with Kim while she was dating. She had no idea that he was had moved on to another relationship until she seen it in the media. She saw pictures of Kim and Croy in the media and she was absolutely devastated. When she tried to uh, confront Croy about it, he was like very nonchalant. These things happen. I, I met someone else. I fell in love. And unfortunately, you're hurt in the process. <laughs> it's insane. Is Kim so needy in this relationship because she was the mistress and she, you know, she doesn't want any other mistress to get in the picture. Or did Croy just honestly met Kim and fell in love and just realized he didn't like his current girlfriend? Now, when you're dating, you know, you're not married yet. Okay, he probably could have handled the situation a little bit different and told his girlfriend, but he did not. I go back and forth here. I mean, I do think it's horribly a little bit unnatural just to cling to someone so bad 
But then here's another reason. According to Kim, she did have a stroke and she is paranoid to have another stroke again. Now, I might not like Kim so much, you know. I, I'm not trying to bash Kim. There are people out there that like Kim. You can like her. Me, not so much. I don't like the way she treated her co-workers on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I can see you being paranoid about having another stroke because a stroke can take your life. And so is this the reason why Corey is her security blanket? I don't know. I mean, there's a, a lot of messiness going around with these two. I mean, and she does treat him like a security blanket. Me personally, if I had to judge, and I don't want to judge because, you know, I don't want to bash anyone that had a stroke. That's a serious condition. It could take your life, you know, and he could, could be around, she could be around Croy 24 seven because of the stroke. But according to the rumors, she was clingy to him anyway. Was she clingy because she was in love? Was she clingy because she was the mistress? Was she clingy because she had a stroke? I don't know. And I really must say at the end of this confusing article, I don't know where I stand with Kim and her relationship with Croy. You know, is he a martyr for taking in her children and becoming a father when they didn't have a father? You could say it possibly. Or could Kim just have her claws dug so deeply in the croy because she doesn't want another woman to do to her what she did to the other woman i mean i don't know so this whole i just listen this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna lay the facts out there you come to your own conclusion because at the end of the day i'm more confused than ever like i go back and forth is this marriage unhealthy and ken gets whatever she deserves from taking another woman's uh husband i mean uh boyfriend or is Kim and Croy doing the right thing keeping their family together and not letting anyone split them apart I don't know I'm more confused than ever so if you guys were to say well this video really doesn't help me come to a conclusion you're right because I'm just as confused as ever let me know in the comments section do you think Kim's marriage is healthy or unhealthy do you think she clings to Croy in an unnatural way also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.